Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let's talk about Tori, which is a new framework out there to build desktop applications with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, the web technologies. And it is getting a little more popular these days now, thanks to a lot of features, a lot of new things that it brings. Let's take a look at this video, why you should be concerned about a new framework, why you should be bothered, and is it an actual electron killer? Should you move your Electron projects to Tori? Should apps like Slack, Discord, all of these people consider Tori as a valuable framework? Let's take a look at in this video. All right, so let's talk about building native applications with HTML, CSS, JavaScript first. Why do we need that? What is the use and so on? So you see native applications by nature are useful because a lot of browser APIs do not support things like native API notifications or maybe, you know, just storing directly on the file system. Although there's a lot of support coming in, but still companies like Slack and Discord, for example, sometimes prefer to use native apps, right? I also have Slack installed as a native app. I have Discord installed as a native app. WhatsApp web, for example, also is available as a native app and so on. So all of these applications, if you have ever installed, you would see that it almost seems like that, hey, you're just embedding a website with advanced features, but they are still hundreds of megabytes, right? Now, the reason for that is because Electron and these frameworks, the way they work, for example, even VS Code is built in Electron, the way these apps work is that they ship with a complete Chromium renderer, right? The Chromium browser, which renders your web browsers, it ships with a complete renderer. Tori, on the other hand, takes a different approach. If you go to their GitHub, for example, scroll down a bit, you're gonna see a section where they compare themselves with Electron. And they clearly see, you can clearly see that 3.1 megabyte versus 52 MB of size, this is again, I mean, based on some dummy app, but Tori can go on their homepage, it is written at least, can go as low as 600 KB versus Electron, which is usually found in hundreds of megabytes. The reason for that is because Electron ships with a Chromium renderer. Tori, on the other hand, uses the native renderer. For example, if you're on macOS, Tori uses WebKit engine, right, which is available in Safari to render. Now, this has its pro because, you know, less size and you are already using pre-installed software. It also has a con that you, are now shipping a product or website which you have to make sure looks fine in two, three browsers, right? Typical browser problem, typical website problem that, you know, your websites are usually CSS sometimes breaks or JavaScript APIs which are available in new Chromium versions are not available in older ones and uh, in Safari and so on. So all sorts of problems like that Tori suffers with. But Net on net, I do feel like there are advantages. For example, the memory consumption is low. The launch time is almost half compared to Electron. So these are performance advantages are definitely there because it's much more optimized. One biggest big disadvantage which you can see is that the backend binding in Tori has to be written in Rust, right? So if you're writing any custom code or anything that involves you to access, let's say something which is native, that needs to be written in Rust if you're using Tori. If you're using Electron, that could have been written in Node JS, which is JavaScript itself. So a lot more people would be comfortable, a lot more web developers would be comfortable with Electron because you just have to write it in Node.js and be done with it, right? That is where the problem lies in a way that Electron is a is a much more friendly way of coding desktop native applications compared to Tori even today, right? If you are, even if you're talking to intermediate to advanced side of apps, they would be much more, built much more faster. If you are just a web developer, if you don't know Rust, if you know Rust, then of course it would be easy to build it in Tori as well. But that's a compromise which you would have to make if you're shifting to a faster framework that you might have to learn Rust as well. Now the question is, should you ship your apps or should you start learning Tori at this point. My answer to that, my personal opinion is that you should if you are trying to get into Rust or if you're trying to make some decent app which is performant and small in size. But if you are already an author of a big application or small to medium to intermediate size app on Electron, it's not worth shipping to Tori or shifting to Tori as of now, if you are not very concerned about the bundle size or the performance, right? If your app is not insanely slow or the bundle is not insanely huge. I mean, bundle is something which like really is impactful. I would not lie about that. This is like a 20, almost a 15, 20 X improvement. So that is a huge improvement. So that is, you know, it, it makes sense. Maybe, I don't know if your app desires to be a smaller app, if you want your app to be a smaller app, then it makes sense. But it does, you know, bring its own set of complexities, especially with Rust. If you're not familiar with Rust and you have 
custom code then you're gonna be having a hard time similarly you know underlying engine again is rust whereas it is v8 which is the chromium engine and so on and there are a bunch of differences but for the most part i mean a lot of things are also available in electron the benefits which story offers are available in electron i've used electron in past a lot i have a lot of video tutorials on electron even on youtube and it works great. It's an awesome framework. Tori, on the other hand, is the new kid in the town, and it's exciting to see how this goes two, three, four years down the line, how many companies pick it up, how many organizations use it. So I'm gonna be definitely interested in seeing how this evolves. But I would love to know your views, your opinion as well on this. What do you think about Tori, this new framework? Let me know in the comments below. That is all for this one. I'm gonna see you in the next video really soon. If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching.